Hello and welcome back to the channel for another Power of the Doctor themed video. The other week, during the period of state mourning in the UK, a number of details about the centenary special were revealed via Doctor Who magazine, including the title of the special, which I've already discussed in a previous video, and a whole host of exclusive images, which I haven't yet discussed on the channel, but I'm planning to do so in the near future. But one of the more intriguing details that was let slip in the various coverage, the various interviews and articles in that issue, which by the way is well worth picking up if you haven't already, is the return of the Cybermasters, first seen of course in the Series 12 finale, The Timeless Children. Uh, they were a bit Marmite back when they, they premiered, they debuted in the episode. You know, some people sort of liked the idea, some people kind of thought they were a bit silly, and yeah, but they basically are. But it's sort of reassuring to know that they aren't just going to be confined to that one appearance. You know, they are going to have a bigger role to play in the grand scheme of things, you know, in this regeneration episode. And so today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the Side Masters' return and what role they could be playing in the story. But before we get into that, let's just discuss very briefly the new costumes, because these are brand new costumes, as revealed by costume designer Ray Holman in his interview in Doctor Who magazine. There are no elements of the original costumes that have been reused here. It's all brand new, it's all been given a slight update, a slight revision, a some more noticeable changes than others. So apparently there are a slightly darker shade of grey or black than before, which is quite hard to make out in photos, admittedly, but apparently that that's one of the revisions that's been made. They're more elaborately decorated than before, so the Gallifreyan symbols extend you know, onto the arms, onto the shoulders, onto the crotch piece, onto the legs. The spikes on the shoulder pads are less prominent, you know, they don't just reuse the, the sort of spiked shoulder pads from the Cyber Warriors. There's a new thing going on here with slightly more stylish shoulder pads. They now lack the frowns that the original Cybermasters had, a detail that you know quite a few people weren't quite so sold on, so I guess it's good to see that that's now gone just in lieu of a normal sort of Cyberman mouth, really, just like a, a flat horizontal mouthpiece. The eyes are more traditional as well, more sort of teardrop-like compared to the originals. And last but not least, the headpieces, the sort of collar pieces, or whatever you want to call them, you know, the big Time Lord headdress things, they are now different colours for different Cybermasters, and I believe there's like a little bit of a hierarchy going on there, you know, so some of them have like gold uh, headpieces, some of them have silver headpieces, just to give a bit more variation, and like I say, to introduce this notion of a hierarchy within the ranks of the Cybermasters. We also appear to have some Cybermasters without the headdress at all, just like more like normal Cyberman warriors, but with all the Gallifreyan text and symbols and stuff. They are pictured in one of the promotional images from the story, along with just one of the sort of more traditional Cybermasters with the headpiece, and you know, so perhaps that Cybermaster is like the, the boss guy, the cyber leader equivalent, and the other ones just more like foot soldiers. So in terms of their involvement in the story, what can we expect? Because you know, obviously the Cybermasters and the Master were both trapped together on Gallifrey when we last saw them, and were both presumably destroyed by the Death Particle on Gallifrey, but obviously the Master did escape, and presumably the Cyber Masters escaped as well, you know, either with him or separate from him, and in the meantime have had this makeover. I mean, it's interesting because the images that we've got of them so far from the story, which, you know, admittedly is only like one or two, those images show the Cybermasters seemingly attacking the same spaceship where the Doctor and Dan have been pictured in previous images, the ones where they're in the orange spacesuits. And that would appear to be some sort of, I don't know, some sort of like passenger ship or something, because it seemingly has all these rows of, of chairs and stuff, you know, like an aeroplane or like the midnight bus, you know, something along those lines. So as to what they're doing in that particular location, I mean, I can't really say at this point, but I do have some more thoughts about the broader role they could be playing within the story. I think an important question to ask is whether they're allied with the Master, or Ashad, or neither, you know, whether they're just doing their own thing. Because don't forget that they weren't the creation of Ashad, you know, Ashad got miniaturised before the Master then sort of carried out this plan to convert all these dead Time Lords into the Cybermasters. And Ashad's whole thing is about having Cybermen, you know, completely purged of organic components. And of course, you know, the Cybermasters with their Time Lord components wouldn't fit that bill. So perhaps there's going to be some beef there between the Cybermasters and Ashad and his Cyber Warriors. You know, perhaps there's going to be some sort of Cyberman civil war going on there. And similarly, you know, maybe the Cybermasters are working for the Master, or maybe they've rebelled against him. Maybe they're just doing their own thing. 
Whatever the case, I do think it's fitting that they have returned for this story because as I've said already and as I've talked about in previous videos as well actually, the Cybermasters are sort of intrinsically linked to regeneration and to this era's sort of notion of what regeneration is. You know, with the Timeless Child thing, we, we've had regeneration sort of redefined as this, this endless possibility, basically, to, to be anything, you know, any gender, any race, etc, etc. It's basically come to represent that this sort of celebration of otherness and of difference and of variation. And what I think makes the Cybermasters so great and so irresistible a concept is that they are the complete opposite of that. Whereas the Timeless Child could regenerate into multiple different forms, different bodies, different genders, different races, like I say, the Cybermasters take that same ability, that same power, the power of the Doctor, and use it for more destructive ends, you know, essentially just to keep on being the same thing, you know, to regenerate into the same thing, and to be uniform, and to just keep on being the same. They are the ultimate perversion of regeneration as it is defined within this era. And so I think, you know, in that regard, it makes total sense for them to come back for Jodie's final story. And I really hope they have something interesting to do and they can also be sort of redeemed in the eyes of fans who watch The Timeless Children and weren't fans of them first time round. You know, hopefully in this story, they are going to have a bit more to do and hopefully win those people over. Those are my thoughts, but what do you think about the return of the Cybermasters? Are you a fan of this new redesign? Do you think it's an improvement on the original? What sort of role do you think they might play within the story? And just more generally, are you pleased to see them back or not? Do you think they deserved to come back? Are you looking forward to seeing them again? Whatever the case, let me know in the comments section below. Please do leave a like if you have enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more Power of the Doctor content in the coming days and weeks. And if you'd like to become a channel patron, you can find the link to my Patreon in the video description. But until the next one, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye for now.